Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, June 10th, 2019. This is just a general energy reading, okay? This is not specific to love, uh, a sign, career, nothing like that. This is just what spirit wants to discuss with us today. Also, keep in mind that these, just like all of the rest of my videos, Videos, messages are timeless yes so whenever you are drawn to listen to this and it resonates with you then that means it was the message for you in that moment yes so just a little bit of an announcement um, I am NOT going to be taking any personal readings for the rest of the month um, up until probably I may not I think I'm looking at opening it back up around the second week in July um, I am coming to the end of this course that I've been in over the past year and a half and I have a final project that's quite um, it's quite a, a hefty project so I have still some work to do left on it um, and it's due July 3rd like we're looking at having the last day of class be July 3rd so I want to make sure that I have enough time and energetic resources to really finish this project because uh, it is very it is creatively driven I have to like write music for it and um, <clears throat> you know mix things and basically I'll, I'll let you guys in on it basically I'm I took we were given the task of taking a film clip and um, recreating the sound for it and the one that I chose does in fact involve music and stuff like that so um, I have to finish that phase so I have to make sure that I have the time and the energy you know to do it so I will not be taking personal readings until, we'll say, until about the second week in July, okay? Uh, it's a, definitely not gonna be until July. It might be a little early. I might be able to start taking them, um, you know, first week, but I'm not sure, because I'm planning on going on a little vacation after, once I get out of school. Um, but with that said, I am still going to be doing morning coffee, absolutely. Um, and I'm still gonna be doing things like uh, Instagram live readings and happy hour on Wednesdays, okay? So stay tuned for that. I'm not completely disappearing, but I just need, I need my extra time when I get home from class to do my project. Yeah, guys? Okay, excellent. So with all that said, let's just get straight into the reading, yes? Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, June 10th, 2019. Thank you so much Spirit. Alrighty guys, we're gonna give this three shuffles and we will see what we've got for today, Monday, June 10th. Best messages please, spirit. Best messages please, Monday, June 10th, 2019. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, for today, Monday, June 10th. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We've got a King of Wands so far. Monday, June 10th, and that may be it. Oh, nope, there you go. Oh, wow, okay. All right, overall energy is Moonchild. Okie dokie. Moonchild, this card comes out a lot now. This deck did get a little wet, so it, it got a little warped here, but I don't know, that might help. I might want to replace the deck. I actually, you know what, I was just thinking, I might want to get a new deck for happy hour. Not for happy hour, for morning coffee, just to change it up a little bit. But anyway, Moonchild. Moonchild card is unique to this deck. This is the Moonchild Tarot. They have their own website. Um, it's not available on Amazon, um, but if you just Google Moonchild Tarot, you will find this deck. Um, 
But the Moonchild card is a card about cycles, um, staying in tune with, you know, the cycles of the moon, also your own cycles in life. I kind of feel like there is a cycle that is, in fact, coming to an end. Um, wow. Okay. You have the King of Wands with the lovers. And to me, what this is saying here, this is just speaking about energy. Um, and it's not about gender. We could be talking gender, okay? But it doesn't, it, that's not necessarily what I'm picking up here. Someone is feeling much more confident in themselves um, to complete, yeah, there is a completion here. Wow. Wow, okay, yeah, this is cool. All right, so King of Wands and the Lovers. What I'm getting here is someone's feeling very, very confident um, in themselves and is making a choice. Um, that is for their own behalf, okay? Um, you have, there is a cycle that has recently come to an end here or is about to come to an end for some of you. You have the Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Knight of Wands, all right? So this is a lesson in the balance between give and take, okay? And, um, you know, balanced reciprocal relationships or, some, or things of that nature. Um, it seems, is it really does seem as though someone has taken has in fact taken their power back and is moving forward strongly, confidently, diligently, I'm hearing. Um, is not trying to play around. Let's see what else we have here. We do have the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Emp, wow, with the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so first of all, we have the counterparts. There you go. <laughs> There's confirmation. My phone just confirmed that we do, in fact, have counterparts. <laughs> okay. I got I to gotta put that on silent. We have the emperor and the empress here, all right? Um, and to me, especially with the lovers here, this is definitely an energy of being balanced, okay, between the masculine and the feminine. Let me, oh, let me put my phone on vibrate. Okay, sorry guys, give me a second. It's just a friend of mine. Okay, so what do we have here? There seems to be, what I'm hearing is, what I'm feeling is that there is a serious balance that's happening here between the masculine and the feminine. Um, and this could be the, between the masculine and the feminine within you. Um, this could, in fact, be two separate situations or like two people, okay? But it really does feel like it's one person coming into balance, closing out some cycles, having learned a lesson. Ten of Pentacles is about time, yes, but to me, it's about lessons learned in this physical plane. Um, and and it, it, because it's a ten, it is a number or it is a card of completion, okay? So to me, there is a lesson here between the balance and give and take that is in fact completed. And it really feels like someone is moving forward very confidently, very strongly with their head held high. This could also be a situation in which um, you or maybe someone else that you are connecting with or are connected with may have had a choice to make in terms of people um, that they may have wanted to date, people that they may have been interested in, um, options in love or whatnot. And it seems that someone may have made a decision here. Now, if they have made a decision, it's not, it's more because of um, something that they may have learned or something that they may have started to understand, a lesson that may have been learned, um, a cycle that is definitely coming to completion. And I'm just noticing, noticing this now because you also have the Wheel of Fortune, which is another 10, okay? Um, now, you have the Knight of Cups in reverse here. This Knight of Cups energy feels like an emotionally immature situation or person, um, someone that is probably very selfish, um, immature, very kind of full of themselves, may be a little emotionally manipulative or just not completely emotionally available. And that could have a lot to do with um, the choice, a choice that has been made here because it feels like this Empress energy is saying no, this is basically, she's saying, she's basically saying no fuck boys or none of that, none of that energy. Like, it's very interesting. Many readers out here 
lately have been in an energy, and I'm not trying to pass judgment um, because I was kind of in this energy too. I've just come to understand it differently uh, at this point. You know, many readers tend to look at like the pages or the nights as um, giving breadcrumbs. It doesn't always have to be that way. Um, it could just be that if you have a night or a page, you're starting all out small or slow and eventually to eventually over time work your way up to that king or queen status. You know what I mean? So it's not necessarily that this empress energy here is saying no, 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 I'm not accepting crumbs. It's more an energy of I'm not going to entertain anyone that's not willing to grow and improve that's not willing to actually like work on the situation we can start out small but we have to work our way up or it's just a waste of time it kind of this is like the queen of swords coming out of the empress but she's still being compassionate about it because there's still this understanding of the balance between give and take okay six of pentacles learning that lesson with the Ten of Pentacles here. There's still that understanding that this takes time, you know, there's this is a balanced individual, or this is in fact a balanced situation, um, that, or this is from a balanced place that this person here is moving forward so confidently, so strongly, King of Wands, knowing exactly what they want and knowing, and being very much in control of their own situation, of their own life you know, taking the action steps needed from this balanced place, a masculine, feminine, active, receptive, that type of situation, that type of energy. This could be a relationship for you. This also could be a, um, a job. Um, this could be actually, this really could be a career change for some. That's really bring your, and I'm hearing, as I'm saying that I'm hearing, you're moving in the right direction because this is bringing a massive change to your karmic uh, payout, we'll say. Or the or your karmic direction, the direction that your karma is moving in. This does feel very good. It does feel very good. This does not feel malicious. This does not feel like somebody's really super angry about something anymore. Or I just heard yet. Um, but I, hey, you never know. It depends. But. Um, it just feels like a rejection of some sort of, I'm hearing, yeah, I'm hearing narcissist. Narcissism comes out a lot, especially in my readings, but that's something that we're all kind of healing from collectively. Um, this Knight of Cups feels like someone that is um, excessively indulgent, um, could be into drugs lots of drugs and alcohol or just like and, and, I'm, and i'm not <laughs> i'm not trying to pass judgment on anybody i understand people like to have a good time but this just feels like there's a lack of maturity um which leads to i'm just gonna hear i'm just gonna say it excessive drug use or drinking or partying or um Lack of responsibility. There it is. Lack of emotional responsibility. Um, this is an. This feels like an individual that um, has no intentions of growing up, but not necessarily in the good way. Like, you know, it's one thing to stay in contact with your inner child and never grow up in the sense of, you know, being filled with wonder and excitement and wanting to go on adventures and. Um, just, you know, having the imagination, letting your imagination flow like a child would. There's another, it's, it's another thing to say, I'm never going to grow up and completely lack any sort of responsibility or f for like yourself or your actions or all that. You know, I think you guys get what I'm saying. That's what this Knight of Cups in reverse feels like. And that's what it feels like from the feminine side of you. You're saying no more. We got to change this because this just isn't gonna cut it this is not healthy this is this is your inner feminine coming forward and saying honey this is just not healthy for yourself it's not even healthy for this person but it definitely is not healthy for you and we got to change this it, it might have been and it definitely does feel like it was a cycle and you really might have been in a headspace where you knew this was coming you knew what was happening but you might have been giving the person the benefit of the doubt the situation the benefit of the doubt you might have been saying well 
it, like say if this was in terms of a career, it's like, well, let me just try it out and see what happens. You never really know. I mean, it's not like I completely hate doing this. It's just, I don't know. We'll see. Let's just let's just try it out. You know, let's let's give it a shot. And okay, you gave it a shot. And so this Knight of Cups might be a situation in which your emotions are just not in it any longer. Because the positive side of the Knight of Cups, in my opinion, is someone that is living with an open heart, kind of has like their heart on their sleeve type of energy, um, is willing to be emotionally emotionally vulnerable for the right reasons in the right circumstances and that may have been where you were at this point but now you're saying no more okay my emotions are not in this any longer i wish i no longer wish to give my emotions to this situation any longer and at this point you're confident you've traded the knight of cups with the knight of wands the knight of wands here is a good thing because it's feeling like it whereas it normally could be like a hasty energy um you know the energy of a one night stand also i mean that could be symbolizing okay 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 so now i am seeing this as how it could be two different people because this knight of wands and the emperor okay all right, I get it. I get it now, guys. This whole row, Knight of Wands, the Emperor, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. This could have been the individual you were dealing with. Someone most likely more on the masculine side or a masculine energy. Or it could be that someone that was just really super controlling and was just in it for a good time, Knight of Wands, and was just in it for like the one night stand type energy or fuck buddies or convenience. Um, someone that was here one second and gone the next. But with the 10 of pentacles and the six of pentacles and also the emperor, see this is where it kind of gets confusing because now I see that. So that really could have been the cycle that you may have been working with. But now you're in, you're taking control, you're taking your power back and you're moving forward conf confidently with the Knight of Wands energy because the lesson is learned, completion uh, is complete. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, balance of give and take. It's like you finally understand what this individual, this circumstance, uh, whatever this represents for you, you finally understand what it is this they what it is they have to offer. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Now I do believe this is an extension from the weekend reading cuz didn't the didn't the emperor and the empress come out over the weekend? I can't remember. Yes, it did. I'm hearing. So okay. Cool. I'm liking this. It's from it's from the feminine space that you are closing out a cycle and you're making a change energetically so internally the feminine the, the 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 empress is representing your internal reality right now and the change that you are making energetically with the wheel of fortune okay from the external point of view you are representing the emperor which is the masculine and taking steps in terms of how to move forward here or how you want to move forward here <sighs> Excellent. So now let's get into the clarification. Okay, there's three shuffles. And instead of splitting it up, I just want to shuffle over the over the situation and see what comes out. Just as like a closing message here. Okay, here we go. Just some clarity. Just some clarity, please, spirit. Woohoo! Okay. Alrighty. Yep. Oh, there's the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Underneath the deck. Yes, indeed. When I saw the Three of Pentacles, I thought it was the Six of Pentacles, but the Six of Pentacles is actually underneath the deck. Yes. The balance between give and take, reciprocity. What I'm getting with this is the lesson here is deepening for you or has deepened for you, okay? It's no longer a situation in which, okay, let me just try and give them the benefit of the doubt any longer. New, 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 okay? Um, there could be some communication coming, eight of wands, um, and that communication could be in terms of your own stability, okay? Three of pentacles to me is a card of self-mastery, but it's also a card of 
teamwork, entrepreneurship. Um, so there could be a community, there could be a conversation that you have had or you need to have or you're going to have with with an individual about working together. About you, what I'm seeing here is you could potentially be saying to this person outright, "Look, you know." I can't trust that you're a team player or something along those lines. Um, something about the relationship being balanced, um, that kind of thing. Also now, what the Eight of Wands does represent is uh, clear air, swift movement, okay? So the choice you're making here, I'm feeling, is really going to help you work on self-mastery that much quicker, okay? Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands, interesting. Four of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, the World, the Star, the Six of Cups, the Four of Swords. All right. Uh, okay. I'm going to put this here. So what is this saying? So there was, an in, there was a situation in which somebody was holding on, not letting go, because there was a conflict of interest. Something was unclear. There was a, there was a conflict of interest, okay? Um, but there was also differing of opinion. And this feels like internal conflict, internally, right? Four of Wands, I'm sorry, Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands. We do have the Four of Wands here. Very interesting. I mean, literally what I'm seeing here is someone was very balanced, grounded. Four of Wands. It's like you had this sense of stability within already. If you are dealing with a, a love relationship, you had a sense of balance to begin with, once you entered into this situation, but you were looking for a partner to share with. I mean, there's the lovers uh, in the first poll, and then you also have the emperor and the empress in the first poll. So this is speaking to your own sense of stability, foundation. You were looking for something solid, and so you took it slow. You know, there were signs, but you were like, okay, Let's keep working, let's keep moving, blah, blah, blah. But now it's like, oh, no, we've reached the end. Knight of Pentacles energy is not needed any longer. I know what I need to know. So we're bringing it to a close. <laughs> Four of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Star. Actually, this is also going with the Four of Wands, okay? But this is what I was saying. You were looking for you were following the guidance. You were doing some healing also in this situation. It's not like this is a complete loss because you were in fact doing some healing with the star. Okay, this was divinely or orchestrated. It was divinely guided. Um, so now is a time, and, and, and well, right. What was going on was that you were connecting with a soulmate. This, again, this could be a partner, a, a romantic relationship. This could be a business relationship, a, a partnership, a friendship, whatnot. It doesn't really matter. A soulmate can re really be anything. Um, but it was, in fact, a soulmate situation. Um, either it was a soulmate situation. Well, yes, it was. But it was either with this person, you had some sort of history or energy that you needed to clear up, karma that you needed to clear up with this person, or this person was helping you clear up some sort of karma from your past or from like a past life or something. It was a cycle that was, be, that was being helped close out, whether this person had involvement in the past or this person was just playing a role in helping you clear out this karma, okay? But the Four of Swords was an energy of being restful, being mindful, allowing the situation to play out, not really jumping to conclusions, just letting, waiting for it to see where it was gonna go with ultimate wish fulfillment in mind here, but also in, with healing. But it does, in fact, look like it's done. It's, it's closed. Done. Over. Complete. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm going to move to the oracle section now. And the sacred rebels have been wanting to come out 
this morning. They've been really calling out to me this morning. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to pull our Oracle card for today from this deck. Um, just keep in mind that some of the definitions in this deck can be pretty long winded, um, which is not a bad thing. It's just I'm saying it's just it might it might take a minute to read through. <laughs> and there, and to me, I really kind of feel like I need to read the whole thing because it's all connected. It's not like I can pick out certain parts of it. But anyway, here we go. Oracle guidance from the sacred rebels today. I really do love this deck. It's beautiful. And I love the messages in it. Alrighty. Here we go. All right, spirit, best messages, please, to close out our reading today. Ooh, wow, okay, card number one, after the storm. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is interesting, you guys. After the storm. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. There's a thunderstorm about. It is either headed your way or just passing through now. Don't make a thunderstorm mean more than what it is, though. You don't have to fear it. You might even feel excitement about it. After all, a thunderstorm is just nature's way of gathering energy together that needs to be released. With a release of tension, relief and freedom soon follow, often with a fresh perspective and perhaps a gift of a promising, hopeful vision for your future. Perhaps this particular storm building within you or around you is causing you to quake in your boots. It might be a storm of building emotions threatening to erupt or already exploding, seemingly beyond your conscious control. You might feel an uncomfortable sense of emotional or physio psycho I'm sorry, psychological pressure within, and if something doesn't happen, and soon, you, are fe you fear you might just burst. You may also sense that there are forces operating beyond your control, and you would be right. There is, in life and in the creative process, a need to allow for wild storms. There will be those precious moments of peace beforehand and the release and revitalization that follows, yet the storm in the middle is essential. It is a natural part of the creative process. Without this building and releasing of energy, we would suffer from boredom and stagnancy. You might prefer the excitement of the storm or the fresh, open feeling that accompanies its clearing. You might find it, com com you might find it confronting to be... Yes, confronting to be faced with the power of something in which you can only participate rather than control. Either way, the storm wisdom offers you the gift of bringing things to a head and clearing them away so that the energy can be freed from a pattern that, is, uh, that has had its day and is ready to become something new. Sometimes the pressure that fuels Okay, sometimes the pressures that fuel the storms of our lives have been building up for a long time without us being fully aware of it. It might be pressure from our own minds, creating unnecessary burdens upon us, such as burdens of fear or self-doubt. It could be pressure to appear a certain way or to fight against life out of a mistaken, be this mistaken belief that is necessary for survival. Sometimes the pressure is a little more than the impossible dream of perfection and a need to gently, or even with great dramatic flourish, cast that aside so that you can dare to be what you are and create from your heart. Even if you are not sure what the storm is about, don't lose confidence in your ability to, to successfully bear its progression until you are safely at the other side of the experience. Even amongst the chaos of change and in moments of anxiety, know that you have so much light and trust in your heart that you can see the storm is but a passing process and nothing that need worry you. If you can't sense the storm yet, this oracle is a portent for, is a portent for you. The storm is coming, and you can, if you wish, feel the beautiful, exhilarating gift of it as you are empowered to cast aside what has been and receive the gift of a fresh, new take on things. Your confidence is to remain intact. 
whatever is happening or soon will happen in your life, this storm of sorts is transformational and supportive of your growth. It is going to clear away cobwebs and free you, open you to new creative energy and life. Remember, there can be no rainbows without a little rain. This oracle is also confirmation that if you have been praying for help, your prayers have been heard, and the great creative intelligence of our universe is responding to you, stepping in and shaking things up so that situations can be sorted out accordingly to a greater wisdom. So let go, hold only your, to your inner self, and allow everything to be cleansed in the sacred storm. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, personal readings are going to be closed until uh, like early July. All right, just stay tuned. But for now, I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah, take care. Bye.